So this goes back a few years ago. This is easily two years before we announced Albuquerque. Uh, I was online just kind of looking at quality of life and Albuquerque kept coming up and it was rated as one of the top five quality of living. Kind of thought to ourselves, okay, what have, what have we gotten ourselves into? To be honest, I thought it was a hole in the desert in the middle of nowhere. The first time you're in a restaurant, right, and you order some food and they look at you and they go red or green and you're like, what are you talking about? It helps people open their mind because there's people from all over the world that come here. The pace of life is slower, cost of living is cheaper, it just seems so much more relaxed. <laughs> Everyone kept on talking about the desert, and now I'm, I'm really adamant when I hear that word, I'm like, this is not the desert. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful. You've run into something you totally didn't expect to see, and you know, it's usually pleasant, a pleasant surprise. Oh, scorpions. <laughs> not a pleasant surprise. Like, and there's like four guys in the car, you know, and they're just cruising. Here, it's not guys, it's chicks, it's girls in the cruise. And I'm like, where does this, this happens nowhere else except for here. I thought he said Alcatraz. I thought that probably wouldn't be too much fun. Whew. I didn't know anything. Other than it's spelled ridiculous. Uh, no <laughs> offense. Albuquerque, I mean Alpha Wookie. I'd never really heard much about Albuquerque before. Probably more negative things than anything. Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny always makes the wrong turn at Albuquerque. That's all I knew. first perception was that it was in the middle of the desert, like with Gila monsters and hermits and cactuses and bones. I was very interested in moving to Albuquerque. I wasn't so sure that my husband would want to come out here because he is California boy through and through. Um, but as we started talking about it, we thought this could be a really good thing for us. I always dreamed of having just a yard even a yard or some space and having some dogs. And my major concern was how can I continue doing CG animated films and have a reasonable cost of living? I have a family now, I'm married, I have two kids, and at some point we wanted to buy a house. The first place I lived was uh, basically a one bedroom in-law unit. My kitchen consisted of a refrigerator and a microwave in my bathroom. You know, I had room to get to my couch and get into my apartment, that was it. It was pretty much stacked um, from floor to ceiling with you know crates containing all the collectibles that I could never see because they were in the boxes and crates. I didn't even apply to ImageWorks until I heard that I could go to Albuquerque. For me, it was easy because I lived in uh, New Mexico previously. So I was always looking for a way to come back. We got the news last Christmas Eve. They called me Christmas Eve and say we got an offer for you. <laughs> Christmas Eve. Okay. And I said, yeah, all right. Let's go and move. And we're so happy. I wanted to come out to Santa Fe because uh, my wife grew up in Santa Fe, and uh, we actually got married there in '99. Yeah, I was very interested. I grew up here. Uh, my family's here. I could have both home while still working in the industry. I was definitely intrigued by the idea of moving out to Albuquerque and working on films, but um, the idea took a little while to warm up. I started doing some research, talking to some friends that have visited here or have uh, lived here. And you know, nothing but good things. Say it's really chill, really laid back, and like it's really beautiful, like very scenic. And then I started looking up some pictures, like, no, that's bull No, this place is dead, man. This is like, it's just like, you know, just desert and one mountain and a bunch of balloons. Sorry, I don't know my friends said. <laughs> when I first heard the, um, the offer, I, I didn't want to move anywhere. I wanted to stay in L.A. So I really didn't want to come, back, come out here. I didn't want to leave all my family and friends. So uh, it was kind of like a last option for me. No. Like, honestly, I was like, New Mexico, like, uh, and you don't really hear that many things about New Mexico, you know? 
You kind of forget it's a state almost. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I thought it was a ridiculous idea. I thought, uh, you don't want to know what I thought, but basic. No, no, no. What kind of, what kind of, what I, what I thought was what kind of loser would go to Albuquerque? <laughs> well, hey, here I am. <laughs> no, I had no interest in coming to Albuquerque. I, uh, I've never been here other than driving through uh, when I was moving out to LA. Uh, I knew nothing about Albuquerque uh, other than the normal connotation that it's just a desert. And I said to the recruiter, I said, well, what about this thing in Albuquerque? What's going on? And uh, she said, well, you would consider that? And I said, well, yeah, if you tell me a little bit about it. I mean, I had never really, I'd, I'd kind of driven through Albuquerque, but I had never lived here. I never really spent enough time here to know what to expect. I had no idea where I was going, really. I did not know that much. Nothing, absolutely nothing. All I knew was that it was in some Bugs Bunny cartoons. I thought it was a fucking desert. I thought it was a tiny, tiny little town with like one main street and like a local or a county jail. Straight out of cars or like Dukes of Hazzard or something. I just had this feeling that it was a dusty old town where not much went on. Uh, I knew it was near Texas, so I figured there was going to be a lot of heat. What I was hoping for was cowboy boots and spurs. I was expecting to get a small farm and raise some pigs and maybe like do some VFX work on the side. But it turns out that this is actually more like San Francisco on the Rio Grande, so there's not really any. My HOA doesn't allow livestock. Well, the quality of life, it was good to find out how nice it was. I found that it was a lot nicer than most people probably would perceive. It's not complete desert, you know. It's not like the Lawrence of Arabia. Grass. <laughs> um, there's, there's, there's a, you know, that's one great thing that I was able to find out here, and uh, obviously I, I was able to, to grow things. The balloons in the morning. <laughs> I think that's really cool. There's something really magical. You come out to do your daily drive to work, and I came out, for example, yesterday, and there were like 15 balloons just hovering in the sky all over the place. White sand south of here. Um, it's the closest I've had to a spiritual experience, just walking around a place. The place is so beautiful and so amazing. I was a little nervous that this wouldn't be such a great place for artwork, but as I soon found out, just about an hour north of us, we have Santa Fe, and it's actually the third biggest market in the United States. I come in here to Albuquerque and discover places like a barber shop that hangs artwork, and I couldn't pass up the opportunity to do a show here. The first time I drove to my house, I drove by Buffalo which I totally didn't expect on my commute home. I was actually really pleasantly surprised on how, how really friendly everybody's been here. Um, just everybody from the people you see on the street to you know, local diners and stuff like that. Everyone's just really friendly and welcoming. So. I had no idea that Albuquerque was you know, as high as Denver. I had absolutely no idea. I really thought that it was more like Death Valley. An alpine forest about 15 miles away. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a mountainside, climbs up to, I think, 10,000 feet, from 8,000 to 10,000 feet, something like that. And um, it, it was alpine. It was, uh, didn't have snow at the time, but man, it smelled like Bavaria or something. Beautiful air. I mean, breathing it in now, it's absolutely beautiful. It's crisp in the winter time. I did a lot of research on the internet about Albuquerque, and they all said like, oh, winter's not that bad, blah, blah, blah. But it actually snowed and it was pretty cold and I did not really bring a coat with me. <laughs> yeah, it's a little colder than I thought it would be <laughs> in the winter months, yeah. Our first Thanksgiving here was the first time it snowed here and the snow's falling in our backyard on Thanksgiving while we're at home and we're just thinking, this is the coolest. You know, last year uh, we stepped right outside our door and went uh, cross-country skiing, you know, right out the front door. Last year we went out, we cut down our own Christmas tree in the forest. We tried to kill ourselves doing it, got stuck in the snow. The farmer's markets out here are really nice. Um, Whole Foods, that's it. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to find a Whole Foods out here. You know, anything like that, anything modern, you know. Um, but no, I mean, all that stuff is here. Like I said, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a full service city. And I mean, so I can live my kind of crunchy, organic lifestyle out here. When we first came out, we were looking around, we were doing things like checking out the grocery stores down the, just kind of down the road from here to see, you know, could you get produce, could you get fish? Um, this far from the ocean. There are a couple places here that actually um, fly fish in uh, like six days a week. Uh, the thing that I was really happy to find out about was how good the food was. Yeah. I didn't think there was going to be bad food, but 
I'm glad that we don't eat at chain restaurants and we didn't have to. There's definitely some really good places and they have their own unique style. The one thing that I really like about here is the, uh, you get the smell like right this time of the year, which it's September right now, and um, you get this, uh, the chilies. They, they've got, got all these chilies and they're roasting all the chilies and they're fantastic to smell. They smell a little bit like marijuana actually, but uh, you know, <laughs> they're pretty good tasting. I don't think there's a restaurant here in Albuquerque that serves food without green chili. That's a good thing now. When I first came, I was like, why do you want chili on everything? Everyone's addicted at work, right? You know, those green, the bagel day, everyone's going for the green chili bagels or the pizza, we're getting the green chili pizzas. I used to pack up my car trunk with green chili. Uh, if I had any friends in wherever I was living, we would, you know, as much green chili as we can carry and bring it back. I took a motorcycle ride out here, actually. That was my first trip to Albuquerque, was on my motorcycle. And uh, I learned about monsoon season the hard way. Got run off the road by a couple hailstorms. And you could see the thunderstorms and the cloud fronts moving in because you can see so far. It's really beautiful until it's like right over the top of you and then you're, and you're, you're in the middle of a, of a downpour. I was not expecting the monsoon season, you know, the, the rains <laughs> during summer yeah. and, the, and the lightning. I mean, uh, it, it can become uh, pretty severe sometimes, but uh, it's, it's nice. I mean, it's, it's nature and uh, you just have to enjoy it. I mean, it's just beautiful at night when you have those thunderstorms. I don't know, it's pretty beautiful here. I didn't expect it to be so, so nice. Uh, the purple mountains and all that, because I thought it was going to be a desert. Mainly the mountains the Sandia Mountains and, and the, the Rio Grande Valley and how beautiful it is here. The, the, okay. The just the, the, what was it? There's one uh, native woman who said that, you know, you have to learn to stretch your eyes when you come to New Mexico. Really? Yeah. Meaning? You stretch your eyes here. You, you get views that are miles, you know, okay. whereas other places, the views aren't as, aren't as distant. Here, I'm looking out at Mount Taylor back there, and it's 80 miles away. So visibility was a big eye-opener. It just feels like big sky, big open space. Well, I found that uh, much that I still loved about the city was still the same. Um, it's got great food, it's got open vistas, it's got amazing weather. Um, and I was surprised to find that not much of that had really changed. Cruising culture, I mean, just seeing people line up from 8 p.m. till midnight on one little strip of road, just going back and forth, just cruising. Like I drove out of work on a Friday night and it turned into like party central in downtown. They had the streets blocked off and there was crowds and it was like Mardi Gras. And I was like, you know, this is amazing. I had absolutely no idea that Albuquerque would turn into party central. Albuquerque has got, I would say, mostly things that are good that you don't expect and a few things that no matter where you go, you have to deal with things that you might not enjoy altogether. But, you know, it's all what you make it. Maybe people said there might, might be violent or something. I haven't seen that, but I guess it happens. It happens every city, so. Yeah. You know, it's no different here than any other city, so. True. Yeah. When I'd actually left New Mexico when I was younger, it was, felt too small for me. Um, felt like I wanted bigger, brighter things, and I moved to different cities and saw bigger, brighter things. I was surprised to find when I came back that it was actually very comforting being back in a smaller city that still had plenty that was familiar, plenty to do, but didn't have a big city problem. I mean, you can go to a coffee shop and have somebody make you a coffee without even having to order because you show up there enough. It's that small town feel where everybody knows each other and it's, it's like having a family of friends uh, in, your, in your neighborhood or in, in the places that you go every day. It's got a lot of the, uh, you know, uh, village feeling, actually, in a lot of parts of it. It's a city, but with a small town feel, and it's very, very family friendly. It's a great uh, family environment. I mean, we're at the New Mexico State Fair, so there's a ton of families here. Um, it's a really friendly community for families and children. It would be cool to grow up here, I think, I believe. Um, I, had a, I had a cool childhood. I wouldn't take it away, but it must be cool for a kid to be able to, like, run an acre. I've never had the, the kind of elbow space or the peace and quiet that I, I found here in New Mexico. So I actually can kind of hear myself think sometimes. Road trips are awesome. We've done so many road trips uh, while we've been here, just going into uh, 
all over New Mexico, uh, north and south, and over into Arizona and to Texas. And we've just gotten to see so many things that I, I probably wouldn't have gotten to see in, in any other case. You can pick a direction and go, drive an hour north, south, east, or west, and there is just something amazing to see in any direction. There's desert, there's mountains, there's rivers, there's lakes, there's all kinds of beautiful things that we're surrounded by in this area. We went up to Santa Fe and that was like a nice little day trip. You just drove up there in the morning, walked around, had lunch, you know, came back and, you know, it wasn't like you had to waste your entire weekend, you know, it's something you could just do in a day. Motorcycle riding out here is amazing, you know. Uh, Great trails, the, the turquoise trail from Albuquerque to Santa Fe is a gorgeous ride. I like the outdoors, so for me there's endless possibilities. My wife Anna Hayden and I, we, uh, we love the outdoors. And one of the great things about Albuquerque is it's close proximity to a lot of beautiful places. Um, after we moved here, I used to sit on our, our deck at our house and watch the sunset. Um, it was completely captivating. And I literally, literally for two months, every night I'd sit out there. And um, every night was a different set of colors, you know, and something new. I sort, of, I sort of hope that no matter how long I'm here, I never get blasé or jaded about how beautiful the skies are here. Because it's just amazing. Any day it's sunrise and sunset, just look up at the sky and everything's going to be all right. Everything's good because it's just like, wow, can anything be that bad when just that much beauty is natural? It's always like that in a big city. You just don't have time. You know, everybody's always rush, 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 rush. Right. But then here you can actually kind of sit back and relax and just enjoy the moment for a minute. People don't get to do that very much anymore. But here it's like downtown, like it's very chill. Um, this place is very chill, like, and the people are totally relaxed and totally laid back, and that's what, for me, that's what makes this place. It's not just much hustle bustle going around, and I can have a house out in the middle of a, in the country, and you know, not be that far away from work. You want mountain living? Go out towards the foothills. It's gorgeous out there. You know, you want to live in the valley and the trees? You know, come down to, kind of this area. You know, and there's also. There's quite a bit of you know, loft living down in the city. You, know, you can walk to work. You can be downtown where the bars are. The university's here, so there's a, a ton of uh, single people here. Uh, there's Knob Hill in downtown with a lot of clubs and bars, so it's a great, great place to, to meet people. I like it out here. I mean, the nightlife isn't like huge or anything like that, but there's, an, there's enough going on on the weekends that I can still enjoy myself, you know? So, yeah. So I would totally recommend people coming out here. What I was looking for, which was to get away from the traffic, get away from the crowd, um, it definitely fit the bill for kind of what I was looking for. So I, I would recommend to anybody who's looking for that kind of, kind of thing. If you like outdoor activities and hiking and biking and, uh, and, and still having a sort of metropolitan area that's only 15 or 20 minutes away from you, Albuquerque's awesome. Uh, my sister-in-law actually moved here with her husband and, and child after we did. They moved back, they lived in France, and they, need, they wanted to come back to the States, and my wife talked them into moving here, and they just, they've been here over a year, and they're not going anywhere, so. So not only would I, we did, we talked people into moving it. I think that uh, people would really enjoy uh, being a part of this, uh, part of this whole experience, even if it was just for a little while. So personally, I would recommend it for sure. I mean, like, I've only been here a few weeks, but so far, both myself and my fiance are really loving it. So far, I've been here for a year, and, and I love living in Albuquerque. I love it. I love being so close to nature. Hell yeah, I'm happy here. Look at me. <laughs> Wouldn't you be? Am I happy living in Albuquerque? Absolutely, yeah. It's, um, it's, uh, it's really pleasant. Really, really, really nice experience so far. I'm really happy here. I like it. Um, it's so different. So there's a, an, advent, uh, an element of adventure to it, right? You know, it's, it's, not, it's not familiar, but it's fun, you know? I really enjoy it. Um, I base a lot of it off of how my family's adapted and how they enjoy it. And my wife absolutely loves it here. And my son, who's just under two years old, he's, he's having a blast. I mean, lizards, rabbits, he's, he's, he loves it. So if they're happy, I'm happy. It's been awesome. That's all it took. It's, it took being here. 
it took being here and actually driving through this place to actually see that it was like, oh man, dude, this is nice. One of our animators said, don't tell anyone that it's, it's a place to go to. It's, it, <laughs> as, in, uh, as in trying to prevent everyone discovering what a great place it is. Yeah. It, it really is, it's, it's beautiful. And to be able to finally get a house and then invite people to come and stay and actually have people over to uh, view the collection is kind of nice as well, <laughs> you know. If I could, honestly, I think I, I could see myself settling out here eventually. Totally happy living here right now. Yeah, totally happy. I'm starting to feel like this is home. My wife had met a couple uh, people just in our neighborhood park. And I remember seeing a change in her where she felt comfortable here and comfortable having the family here. And that was something that I didn't have a whole lot of control of. Um, so to see that she was able to settle in and my kids start to make friends with kids in the neighborhoods and in the neighborhood and things like that, that's really when, um, you know, I felt like, um, you know, this was becoming home. I kind of came here very skeptical and, and very much with the mindset that this is probably gonna be a short term thing. Like, okay, let me see what it's like and then we'll go somewhere else. Um, but that's not the case. Now that we're here, we, we really like it. Our family, uh, feels very at home here. Me and my wife, we taking trips to LA and New York and you know we kind of miss home but then once we're there we're like oh man we gotta go back home and yeah. this has become home. It's even won over my husband so after about a year of being here he finally said you know I really like it here. <laughs> we have a nice house and we have a pool and some yard space and some dogs now so it's everything that we had dreamed of. You gotta come and then Go with your heart. See, look at this. I know. Look at this. My your spirit is going up. It made me so happy this morning. It's the quality of living. It's like, okay, great, whatever. Quality of living. What does that mean? Yeah. You know, is it bang for the buck? I don't know. It actually hit me two weeks ago. It's like, oh, I get it. Quality of living. My quality of living is higher. I'm happier. You know, not just outside the workplace, but inside, because I bring it into the work with me. Okay. When I leave, it's like, oh. I want to go do, I can go play with the kids, I can go to their soccer games now. You know, I'm not, you know, landlocked because of traffic. But it's just, uh, people in general that I encounter at the supermarket or at the gas station, it doesn't matter where I go, it seems like people are generally happier. And so when I encounter that, it, it, you know, it, I, I guess I, uh, you know, it just, it comes to me too, you know, and so I, I, don't, I feel better kids feel better. It's, it's a quality of living. I gotta go fly away in my helicopter. So what do you want me to do with my, my hands? That's always the awkward thing. I think we had a number of choices in Albuquerque. <laughs> By the way, that was number You already know the answer. Why do you got to ask the question? <laughs> Some of them on my, on my cards, they said, um, New Mexico, Mexico, whatever. <laughs> Go for it. Are you OK? Listen here, Spielberg, calm down. Calm down. My wife's really happy here. Eddie. <laughs> Whoa, I gotta stop. <laughs> Look at this soil. It's fantastic. I am. What's the best thing about Africa? The best thing is, I'm just sitting out on my porch and these stray kids come up and just sit with me just because they want to hang. Four point five. That's like a baby seat. I know because I have surprisingly large amounts of babies around the world. The huge. <laughs> Don't you dare cut the city. I hate Albuquerque. <laughs>